Well, the show uh, minus two plus three um, it's a show about our collection. It was important to me during the last years also to point out that we are not a Kunsthalle, so that we do not only temporary shows, but at the heart of this building is its collection. And um, therefore, I thought, uh, like in uh, times of Renaissance, uh, uh, when are the, let's say, in people who uh, build up their collection, could be uh, the people in their castles or in uh, the churches, they ask very often humanists, or uh, we say, to, to help them. And so um, my idea it was to invite two artists, uh, Stefano Arienti and Massimo Bartolini, uh, also because of their curriculum, because Massimo Bartolini very often in his works deals with architectural issues, uh, whereas um, Stefano Arienti very often uh, um, takes into his work the history of images, uh, the concept of authorship, so I thought it could be an ideal couple, and fortunately it was. Uh, um, they are, were friends, and uh, in this case it was also not bad that they were Italian because they had to come very often to the museum. And um, when they went in our minus two, that means um, in our deposits, uh, uh, they were really uh, speechless, as they told me, because uh, it was like to be in a Wunderkammer. And um, they said to me that it's uh, rare that the Museum of Contemporary Art has such a heterogeneous collection, and it's true. We have uh, uh, more than 2,000 works uh, from um, a very important loan, a long-term loan, uh, which is called Archivio di Nuova Scrittura, and we have a lot of works about image and text. Um, so um, faced to this uh, uh, multiplicity of different works of this really chamber of marvelous things, uh, they wanted uh, to give to the public also this glance uh, in the backstage. Uh, and therefore the idea arose uh, uh, to put the things which were, or the works, which were in minus two to the plus three, which is uh, uh, the place where I'm talking right now, our exhibition space. So there was not uh, an aesthetical choice and even not, uh, um, let's say, uh, a choice of some works and of some others which uh, stayed in the minus two. But as you can see here, for example, Elke Kristufek now stays uh, um, underneath our Piero Manzoni because in our deposit it is ranged like this. Uh, it was a huge operation. I think it is a un unique operation where really um, the people will also walk through our uh, museum uh, um, spaces like in a labyrinth and there will be faced sometimes uh, towards very uh, let's say bizarre, but also amazing compositions. Uh, and um, I found this also very generous uh, um, from the artists to think about uh, our public, about uh, the city of Bolzano mainly, which can also see what uh, has been built up uh, during the years. It is also, it has been an occasion uh, to restore a lot of work. So really the museum functioned on a whole like a museum because everybody was involved in this big operation. And so I also want to thank the two artists. Uh, um, it was not easy to do it because there were also some doubts in the beginning. Will it be uh, a damage for the works uh, to build up everything underneath and put it uh, uh, in the museum? Finally, we also um, asked some experts and uh, we got the okay and so uh, we started and here we are. <laughs>